2018 365 days of granny squares crochet along where you get one new granny square every day um, goes live every single day at 1800 um, so today's square is number 44 it is called the lacy bouillon designed by bonnie pierce so today we're going to be learning the bouillon bull, bouillon uh, stitch um you're going to need three different colors um and your yarn and obviously your hook so this is the first part of the um square so you we're gonna make this whole piece first and as you see the bouillons here um, we're gonna make this whole piece first and then we are going to make the square and then attach this onto the square okay so let's get started grab your yarn you're going to chain four and join and the reason why I'm not making a magic ring is because um, it's a little hard to do the bouillon, bouillon stitch um, with a magic ring, uh, in my opinion. So I know this, I don't do this often, but um, today we are. So let's chain four to get started. Two, three, four. Join into your first chain with a slip stitch to form a ring. Make sure I can see my hole here. And now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. To make a bouillon stitch, um, most of the time I it's seven wraps, but um, to, according to this pattern, it's gonna be 10 wraps. So your bouillon stitches should be about an inch all together, inch long each. So what you're gonna do is very loosely wrap 11, or I'm sorry, wrap 10, um, yarn overs onto your hook so not counting your first um, stitch here because that's from your chain you're going to be counting how many wraps so right now we have three four five six seven eight nine and ten then you're going to insert your hook into your circle yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through all of these loops. You should have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 12 on your hook. So just start by simply pulling it through. You might have to um, do it like I'm doing here. I found the easiest way. This is how I've always done them. Um, It's hard to get a right tension when making these. There you go. And that is your first bouillon. And I will show you how to do all of them. We're gonna be working 12 of these into our circle, by the way, I forgot to mention that. So yarn over, get your yarn to about the same height as your um, bouillon, bouillon. Pull it through and that counts as your chain one. Now you have one on your hook. So again, wrap 10. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Insert your hook into the circle. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through all 12 stitches. Be sure to let go of your tension on your yarn back here as you're pulling it. Um, this will help tremendously in pulling the stitch all the way through. So yarn over, make sure it's level, and there's your chain one, and do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make sure that um, when wrapping your yarn, that it's very loose, or you will have, or you will struggle getting it through all of these loops. Yarn over, chain one, and again. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that's ten, two, four, six, eight, nope, ten. Okay, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all the stitches on your hook. Okay, if you need to rewind the video um, or pause it or slow it down, please feel free. The options are all there for you. You're going to work 12 of these bouillons into your uh, circle here. I'll work one more for you and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then um, I will get back to you when I have 12 bouillons. By the way, you're probably not, if you've never done this stitch before, you're probably not going to get it right the first time. You're really going to have to practice it. Um, this is just one of those stitches that takes a lot of practice, and as you can see, even my bouillons aren't that, that great. I've only encountered them in um, a few patterns. I didn't think this was going to do that. There it goes. Okay, there you go. All right, so work 12 of them into your uh, circle here. And when I have 12, I will get right back with you. Okay, so I've got 12 bou bouillon um, stitches um, onto my circle here, as you can see. And so now we're going to slip stitch into the first chain one space. And then you're going to cut your yarn. Like a so. I've lost my scissors. There we go. Don't know how they made it back there. Okay. Now you're going to change your colors and now we're going to make the wings here. Let's go with a light pink. Okay, join in any chain one space that you'd like and you're gonna join with a beginning single crochet. So pretend you're getting ready to chain. Get that on your hook. And we'll join right here, in between the bouillons. Make sure you don't get um, that stitch right there, or that's not even a stitch, but the strand. Make sure you work onto the left of it, between it and the bouillon next to it. So single crochet, chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now you're gonna skip two bouillon, bouillons, bouillon, bouillons. <laughs> I keep wanting to say bouillon, like bouillon cubes. <laughs> anyway, um, and then single crochet into the next chain one space. Now you're going to chain three. One, two, three. Skip two more, go into the next space and put a single crochet. Okay, chain three. One, two, three. Skip two, go into the next space, single crochet. Chain three. One, two, three, work another single crochet into the same space. Okay, chain three, one, two, three, skip two, work a single crochet into the next space, chain three, one, two, three, skip two, put a single crochet into the next space, chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Skip two and join with a slip stitch into the single crochet, the first single crochet that you made, completing your stitches, okay? 
Now we're gonna slip stitch into the first chain five space here, which is our very first chain five we made. We're gonna join with a slip stitch into that one. Now we're gonna work two single crochets, two half double crochets, and three double crochets into this chain five space. So first chain one. Work two single crochets, one, two, two half double crochets into this same space, one, two, now in the same space work three double crochets, one, two, three, now work two double crochets into the single crochet here. Now work one double crochet and two half double crochets and two single crochets into the next chain three space. So the chain three space right next door. One double crochet, two half double crochet, two single crochet. Single crochet into the next single crochet. three single crochet into the next chain three space. One, two, three. One single crochet, chain three, one single crochet in this chain three space that we did in the same space here where there's two single crochets in chain three. In that little spot there, we're gonna be working into that. Uh, in the pattern, she calls it a point so we'll just keep calling it a point. <laughs> so one single crochet, chain three, one more single crochet. And so far this is what we have. We have finished the first half of our heart. Now we're gonna work three single crochets in the next chain three space. So our next chain three space right here, we're going to work three single crochets, one, two, three, work a single crochet into the next single crochet, no way that's slipping like that, there we go. Now work two single crochets and two half double crochets and one double crochet into the next chain three space. So two single crochets, two half double crochets, all in the same space, and one double crochet. Work two double crochet into the next single crochet. Now, we're in our last space, our chain five space. We're gonna work three double crochet, two half double crochet, and two single crochet, and a slip stitch, all into this chain five space here that we made. So three double crochet, one, two, three, two half double crochet, one, two, and two single crochet, all in that chain five space. Slip stitch, and then slip stitch in the first slip stitch, which would have been right there. You'll have to find your first slip stitch, okay? Now you're going to chain three. One, two, three. You're going to slip stitch in the next stitch. Okay, chain three. Slip stitch into the next stitch. Chain three. See where we're going here, y'all? 
slip stitch into the next stitch. Repeat this sequence all the way around, chaining three, working a slip stitch into the next stitch. Your work is going to start to wibble and wobble, which is normal for a stitch of this nature. Um, so when it's done, just give it a nice little pat and it should lay down. In pattern, it tells you to um, go ahead and block your heart, your bouillon heart here, and then attach it to your square. Um, it's up to you if you want to. I would suggest blocking it, um, just like I suggest blocking all of our squares, just so then they're all the same size. But you would block this by itself um, on foam with pins or whatever. So anyway, so you're gonna work a chain three, single crow or slip stitch into the next stitch until you get to your um, point <laughs> at the tip here. When you get to that point, you will, after you have slip stitched into your last stitch, you'll chain three, slip stitch in here, chain three, slip stitch in here again, and then chain three and slip stitch into your next one. I'll get back to you when I get to the point here so I can better show you how to do it. Okay, so I've gotten to my point down at the end. I've chained three. Now I'm going to slip stitch into the point. Chain three. And then slip stitch into it again. Chain three. And now I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch. Chain three. And then slip stitch into the next and repeat this until you get back to the beginning. Okay, once you've made it all the way around back to the beginning, do your chain three, and now you're going to join with the slip stitch into the very first one down there and the very bottom to close it off and cut your yarn. All right, so what you have right now is just a rumpled up, goofy looking thing going on here. But if you give it a little tug here and there, make it lay flat, push it down, being careful not to push down your bouillons, or unless you're like me, just push them down anyway. And you'll start to see that it starts to resemble a heart. This one will definitely have to be blocked. My first one, not so much. Give us some good pulls and tucks. Okay, so there you go. And that's what it looks like. I'll definitely be blocking this one before the photos go live in our crochet along. But anyway, so there's that part. And now we're done with that part. And now we are going to make our square. So get a new color, chain four, join into the first chain to make a circle, or you can do a magic ring. We're basically doing a basic, very, very, very basic granny square. So magic ring, you can chain three, or you can do a chainless double crochet. It's up to you. I'm doing the chainless, and then we're gonna work two more double crochets into our circle. And then we're going to chain two. Work three double crochets into your circle. Chain two. And work three more double crochets into your circle. If I'm going too fast for you, there's an option in the upper right hand corner of the screen um, that you can hit slow down. Remember, you can always rewind and pause. Chain two, oops, sorry, that was a chain two. Now we're working three double crochet into the ring again. Let's see, one, two, three, four, yep, okay. So you should have 12 double crochets. Don't forget to chain two. Join with the slip stitch into your beginning. Um, if you chain three, then it would be the top of your chain three. If you did the chainless like I did, and I pulled it too tight because now I'm missing 
my stitch here. Okay. Anyway, so join with the slip stitch into that. And now you're going to chain three or chainless double. One double crochet into the next two stitches. Work your corner as two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So there's two double crochet, chain two, two more double crochet into the corner. One double crochet into the next three stitches. Work your corner, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. I'll meet you back when I have finished this round. Okay, so I've worked all the way around. I have three double crochets worked into my sides all the way around, and then on the corners I have two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Okay, and that's what we have. Join with a slip stitch into your beginning chain three or chainless double crochet. So if you chain three, you will join into the third chain and with a slip stitch, if you did the chainless, obviously, you just slip stitch into the beginning. Okay, now you're going to chain three or do another chainless double crochet, your preference. Everybody has something that floats their boat just a tad bit differently than everybody else. Wisdom of the day, my YouTube followers, wisdom of the day. <laughs> okay, so now rounds three through five is gonna be the same thing. We're going to work one double crochet into the next four stitches. Three, four, five, giving us a total of five double crochets already worked. Work your corner, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, all in the corner space. Now you're gonna work one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one double crochet into the next seven stitches. and then work your corner. Two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet in the corner space, and then seven double crochets across your next side. I will get back to you when I have done that and I'm back and I've worked my last corner. Remember, if you need to rewind, hit that rewind button. If you need to slow it down because I'm going too fast, hit the slow button in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Okay, I'll be right back with you guys. All right, so I worked my last corner. There are two stitches remaining to give us seven all the way across our top here. So work your last two double crochets into the last two stitches and that should give you seven stitches along the top. Okay, now you're gonna work a single or a slip stitch into your beginning chain three or your chainless double crochet here. And then we have two more rounds of double crochets to work. So let's just go ahead and join. There we go. All right. Now, chain three or chainless. Now you're going to work one double crochet into the next two, four, six stitches. Careful not to work a double crochet into the stitch that you just came out of. So in the next six, work your corner, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and now you're going to work across here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Work eleven double crochets across. Okay, and then work your corner, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, 11 double crochets down this end, work your corner, 11 double crochets down this end, work your corner, and then you're going to work one double crochet into the last four stitches. 
join with a slip stitch into the, your beginning chain three or chainless double crochet. I will meet you when I've done all that. All right, I've worked all the way around. Now we have four stitches left. So work one double crochet into your last four stitches. And I don't have a lot of yarn left on this one here. So I'm going to go ahead, as soon as I make my slip stitch, join with the slip stitch into your beginning chain three or chainless double crochet. I'm gonna change colors, you don't have to. I'm going to because um, this is all I have left. <laughs> all right, so let's put that off to the side here. Um, you know what, we'll go with the red. Maybe. Okay, if you're not switching colors, um, you're gonna continue to work. If you are switching colors, you can um, begin where I'm beginning as well. I'm going to begin where we slipped off. That way I don't make it too confusing for anybody. I tend to do that a lot. I even confuse myself, believe it or not. <laughs> anyway, so if you are changing, go ahead, join into the spot where we finished off. You can chain three or do a um, standing double crochet. Now you're going to work one double crochet in each stitch across to your corner. And then when you get to your corner, work two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, just like we've been doing. And then you're gonna work when you get down your other side here. Let's get to our corner first before I get too ahead of myself. Okay, two double crochet into the corner, chain two, two more double crochet, Okay, and now we're gonna work one double crochet across in every stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 double crochets across. Work your corner, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, 15 across. And repeat this all the way around. If you need to slow it down, rewind or pause, please do so. When you get to your last corner, work your corner, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Work one single or one double crochet in the next six stitches, okay? I will get to you when I have worked all the way around, and then you'll join with a slip stitch into your beginning chain here. Okay, so I've worked my last corner. Now we're going to work one double crochet in the last six stitches. Maybe. There we go. Okay. And last stitch here. Join with a slip stitch into your beginning chain three or standing double crochet, whichever you chose to do. Chain one. Work a single crochet into the same space. And work one single crochet in every stitch around. In each corner, you will put three single crochets and one single crochet in every stitch. Okay, so it's very simple. This is it. This is our, our final border on our square. I'm at the corner here, so we're going to work one single crochet. I'm sorry, two, three, <laughs> three single crochets into our corner, okay? And then we're going to work one single crochet in every stitch across, three single crochets in our corner, all the way around to the beginning. And I'll meet you back when I get to the beginning. All right, so I've worked one single crochet in every stitch around. In my corners, I worked three single crochets. So now I'm back to my beginning. Now I'm going to work a slip stitch into my beginning single crochet. Cut my yarn. And that is all she wrote for that one there. Alrighty, so there is your granny square, your very, very extremely basic granny square. And then what you'll do is you'll block your heart, and then you will 
sew it, attach it to your square. You could even turn it at an angle if you really wanted to. Give it some flair. Anyway, so there you go, guys. That is your square. Number 44, Lacey Bouillon. <laughs> Say that ten times fast, Joe. Okay. So you learned how to do the bouillon stitch if you've never done it before. This um, awesome pattern was designed by Bonnie Pierce. Um, any questions, any comments, leave them in the comments down below. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button so you can get the square a day notification. If you're not in the crochet along, the link is below in the description. Click it, join us. We have officially reached 10 thousand members so exciting yay anyway guys until next time happy hooking y'all